Good evening. Hello, Felipe. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And I am cooking my, your my lunch. Oh, your lunch for tomorrow? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lasagna. That's so good. Excellent. Good for you. Thank you, teacher. All right. So let's see. Welcome back, Felipe. Let's hope the other ones get into the class. All right. <laughs> okay. Vamos a ver si se conectan los demás. Esperemos que sí. All right. Si no, solo usted le va a tocar toda la clase, Felipe. Me desatraso de las que faltan. <laughs> Right, there we have Mayra. Hi, Mayra. Hi. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Mayra? Are you good, tired? Um, ahí sí no entendí. <laughs> Excuse me. ¿Te siente bien? ¿Está cansada? Are you good, tired? Oh, uh, no. Everything is uh, fine. <laughs> todo bien, gracias. Excellent, very really good, Mayra. Welcome back. Let me see. We have Jancy. Hi, Jancy. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Excellent. Very really good to have you in here. Thank you. Let <laughs> me go in these audios. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to have you. We are going to start with the class. All right. Solo quería chequear cómo estaban, porque estos días atrás hemos ido tan rápido que el con, con el contenido que ni les había preguntado cómo estaban. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Did you have fun? We're going to start with section four. All right. We already finished uh, section three. So we can rest in peace with section three. And today we're going to start with section four. And we are in class number nine. So welcome back. Let's see. We are going to have a short review about some topics from section three. And I believe if I don't remember in a wrong way, I believe that we are also going to have a review from section two, all right? To see if we haven't forgotten any topic, right? Or any important tense. So let's get started. We are in class number nine. Let's see, do you remember? Which are the two questions that we use to ask for directions? Si ustedes recuerdan, en el contenido de la sección 3 veíamos dos preguntas específicas que nos ayudan a poder y pues preguntar, valga la redundancia, right? A otra persona sobre una dirección, right? ¿Cuáles son esas dos preguntas? Let me see. Let me see. Gabriela Choto. Okay, Gabi, tell me which are those two questions. How do you get to Rockefeller Center? Mm -hmm. Excellent. How can I get to New York Public Library? Excellent. Thank you, Gabi. That's correct. Solo tenemos esas two questions, right? We don't have more. Uh, maybe with the time we can learn some others, but for now on, we only have those, right? Thank you, Gabi. Let's go with number two. Mention at least three answers that you can use to give directions. En el mismo cuadrito donde tenían las preguntas eh, para solicitar direcciones, también teníamos el de respuesta. So let me see. Let me see, let me see. Jancy Jimenez. Okay, Jancy, tell me three answers that we can use to give directions. Okay, yeah. Go up. Uh -huh, go up. So on left, on the right. <laughs> right or left? Eh, no, sabe, me dijo tres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, three. Una es, wait, on, on the right. Uh -huh. right. right. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Jancy. And let's go with the other one. Let me see. Jancy mentioned tree. Let me see, Sonia. Can you give me another tree? Uh, 
World Cup, mm -hmm. World, World Down, World Down. Uh, Turn Left On. Turn Left On, all right? That's correct, excellent. Very good, thank you. And let's go with number three. Mention the prepositions of place. Yes, the tema is the, like a week ago, right? Casi una semana. <laughs> let's see. Let me have Lisette Montoya. Lisette, mention the prepositions of place. Um, on the corner of, mm -hmm. across from, uh, next to, or between. Excellent, really good, Lisette. Excellent, right? Very good, guys. It's good to see that you remember this content learned. And even if you take notes, it's excellent, right? Because you have something to look at, right? You have something to search for information. So that's great. If you have notes, excellent. Very good. All right, everybody, let's move on. Just to recall, okay? Let me see, Felipe, tell me these two, these two questions, please. Uh, how do I get to? Uh, no, perdón, teacher, que tengo que decir. <laughs> Sí, estas dos preguntas. Sí, how, how can I get to uh, the, the kitchen? Uh -huh. How can I get to the kitchen? Uh -huh. Very good. Sí, porque si llegamos a la casa de alguien y no conocemos cómo llegar a su cocina, pues. Uh, puede ser, sí. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. And the other one? Uh, how do I how get... Can I... Uh, how can I get to the church. All right, excellent. There you go. Very good, Felipe. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Elizabeth Campos. Elizabeth, can you please tell me the answers that we have for this type of questions? Hello. Turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right, everybody, this is content learned. So I'm assuming that you already handled this quite well, right? So let's see. Let's move on to the following. We have this reading, okay? I'm pretty sure that maybe all of you already practiced with this reading. But I still, as a teacher, I need to make sure that you don't have any mistakes pronouncing the directions, right? Aunque este reading, quizás ustedes ya lo practicaron, ya lo habíamos visto en otras clases, necesito asegurarme que no tengamos una duda en la pronunciación cuando estamos dando directions, right? Porque media vez pasemos de esa section, es probable que el último día de clases tengamos un review, o es probable que nos quedemos con otro content, right? Así que, let me check. Let's go with Patricia. Patricia, can you tell me number one, please? Read for me. Hello, Carla Patricia. Are you there? Hola, teacher. Este, no escuché, teacher, perdón. Ah, don't worry, no se preocupe. Eh, ¿Podría leerme el parrafito uno, please? Ok. Start your tour at Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 33rd and 34th Street. This building has 102, 102 floors. Take the elevator to the one, 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Excellent, that's correct. Thank you, girl. Let me go with paragraph number two. Let's see. Fatima Guardado, please. Now walk up Fifth Avenue, seven block to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40, 
40 seconds. 40 seconds. 42 seconds street. This library holds over uh, 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there is an outdoor coffee and at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Excellent. Thank you girls so much for your participation. All right, now in this one, everybody. Okay, not to get confused with coffee, the drink, all right? They call outdoor cafe, porque es un lugar, all right? Aquí no sería la bebida que nosotros conocemos como coffee, sino que aquí ya es un outdoor cafe. Se refieren a un lugar donde ellos salen, ya sea pueden tomar café o eh, tea, soda, whatever thing they drink, right? It's an outdoor cafe. Thank you. Let me go with paragraph number three, Jose Carpio. Number three. Yes. Uh, okay. World up uh, six avenue two forty nine street. You are starting in the mile on the on the ninety nine building of Rockefeller Center. To ride on 49 Street, mm -hmm. walk another block, and the two left, you are in Rockefeller Plaza. In the one winter, you can ice skate in the ring there. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with. Uh, by the way, let me ask you, Jose. ¿Tiene alguna consulta en alguna palabra de cómo se pronuncia aquí, Jose? Sí, tengo una pregunta, ¿cómo se pronuncia eh, en la palabra? Te le digo, hay una que no. ¿Cuál era? Ah, esa, mic, mile, mile o micle, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Qué ah, Miller. Miller. Miller, ajá. Miller, Miller, ajá. Y ese, en, en medio. Ajá. In the middle, you are standing in the middle of. Usted está parado en medio de of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Está parado en medio de los 19 edificios que tiene el Rockefeller Center. Okay. Excellent, very really good, Jose. De igual manera, eh, Carla Patricia en Elizabeth Campos, si, usted, si ustedes tienen una duda del vocabulary que se presenta aquí, pueden hacerlo en cuanto a pronunciation, right? Excellent. Let me go with Number four, paragraph number four. Jose Vega, please. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Number four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is a. ¿Cómo se pronuncia este T? Este T. And let me see, Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. Is St. Patrick's Cathedral is modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Constant St. Patrick's and leave the noise city behind. Look at the beautiful blue window. Many of these windows come from Friends. Excellent, that's correct, all right? So there you go. They say that they have a donation basically from friends, right? Or I don't know if a donation or it was just paid on, <laughs> but they do have those windows from friends. Okay, and let me see. Jose Vega, do you have any question about the vocabulary number four? ¿Alguna pronunciación que usted sintió que le costó? Es solo eso donde le pregunté antes de Patrick Cater. No. Es esas abreviaciones. Uh -huh. Saint significa, eh, nosotros decimos San Patricio, right? Bueno, nosotros en uh -huh. El Salvador creo que se les dice San Patricio, right? Pero ellos no lo traducen, ellos dicen Saint Patrick's. Uh -huh. 
Uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right, everybody. Now, let's see. If you have any other question about this vocabulary, about directions, this is your time to make those questions, all right? Once we move on for this one, maybe we won't go back. <laughs> so let's see. Do you have any questions? Not My the... No, excellent, you said, thank you. Por cierto, ya finalizaron todas las section three y el midterm, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Excellent, very good. Yes, teacher. Yay, very good. All right, everybody, as a final review from the units that we have seen so far, we have this one. What are they going to do? ¿Se recuerdan que ustedes ya aprendieron a hacer el uso de el going to for future tense, right? In the futuro with going to. Entonces, vamos a trabajar en estas sentences. Ustedes las van a copiar en su notebook. Estas sentences están desordenadas. Si notan, play football. Y solo nos da el nombre de la persona. En todo caso, es el subject, right? Henry is going to play football. Están desordenadas. Ustedes las tienen que ordenar. En algunos casos, por ejemplo, de las cinco en adelante, ya no aparece el subject puesto de un solo. Así que ustedes tienen que buscar el subject, right? Siempre lo van a encontrar ahí en la sentence. No nos lo vamos a inventar. Solo que ya no se los ponen ellos aquí. Ok, vamos a trabajar from 1 to 13, ok? La 7 y la 14 no la vamos a hacer, solo vamos a hacer from 1 to 13. If you have questions, you can ask me. Remember that as a part of the structure, the structure mentions or says that you have to have subject plus verb to be and then going to. But you need to make sure which verb to be are you going to use according to the sentence, right? Because we have some sentences that it might be in plural.
मतलब मैं चाहे सोचता है चूको चूको teacher finished excellent very good somebody else who has finished only said okay don't worry we're going to wait a couple of minutes because i need you to work in this and we are going to share the content okay If you need help to figure it out, the structure in these sentences, let me know, all right?
Okay, let's see. Let me have Lisette. Lisette, what do you have for number two? Uh, number two is Henry is going to score some goals. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, Lisette. Did you felt this worksheet difficult, Lisette? ¿La sintió muy difícil esta worksheet? Uh, no, teacher. Esta solo es de ponerle el going to, ¿verdad? Eh? Mm -hmm. okay. Ordenarla, all right? Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you, Lisette. Let's go with Dinora Hernandez. Dinora, what do you have for number three? Number three. Henry is going to kick the ball. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let me see, Felipe Rios, what do you have for number four? Uh, number four, mm -hmm. uh, his, uh, his parents going to sit the match. All right, his parents? His, his parents. Uh-huh. Going to sit the match. Uh, is, perdón, excuse me. His parent is going to. His no. parents is or are? Are. Mm -hmm. That's es correct. Que estoy, que estoy cocinando, teacher, perdón. <laughs> Don't worry, no se preocupe. It's okay, all right? Solo quiero ver si estamos bien con este tema. Excellent, okay. Felipe. Very Thank good. you. Let's see um, Carla Patricia, number five, please. Paul is going to do a snow jumping. Exactly, that's correct. Jolie Garcia, number six. Let's see, Jolie Garcia, are you in class? <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let me see, Gabriela Choto. What do you have for number six? Six. Mm -hmm. six. Okay. Uh, the rabbits are go. The rabbits are going to jump very fast. All right. Thank you, Gabi. Okay, Gabi. Rabbit is in singular. What can we use? What verb to be? It's. Sorry. It's. Is exactly the rabbit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Gabby. That's correct. Let me go with Sonia. Let's see, Sonia, number eight. Number, me dijo teacher. Eight. La ocho. La ocho. Eight. La siete falta. No, pero la siete no la vamos a hacer. Ah, okay. Estamos a la a la ocho. Let's see. Okay. Um, John is going. Uy, la ocho, Sonia. Tom. Es Tom. Tom. Santo Dios. Ay, ya pues la copié mal. Es que usted le puso siete, de seguro, ¿verdad? No, hago me confundí. All right, don't no, worry. Ah, no, 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 no. I, I, I estoy bien dicho. Okay. Um, Tom es verdad. Yes. Oh, sí, me equivoqué en la numeración. <laughs> um, Tom is going to play golf with this, his father. Exactly. That's correct, Sonia. Very good. Ya ven, no alteramos el producto. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's correct. Thank you. Let me go with Jose Vega. Let's see, Jose, what do you have for number nine? Number nine. Sería mm -hmm. John, ¿verdad? Yes, esta sí es de John. John is going to sail in the lake. Uh -huh. John is going to sail. John is in... going to sail in the lake. That's correct, sir. Very good. Sail is navegar, right? Uh -huh. What is it? Navegar in the. 
El lago. Exactly. Thank you, Jose. Very good. And what about... Let me see. Jose Carpio, number 10. Okay. Uh, Willie is going to swim in the pool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He's going to swim in the pool. Let's see. Piscina, I... verdad? Uh -huh. Pool is piscina. Okay. Um, Fatima Guardado, number 11, please. Marta is going to peel an orange. Exactly. Peel? ¿Sabe lo que peel es, Fatima? ¿Lo que es peel? No. Es pelar, all right? Pelar ah, okay. o descascarar, basically. Right? Excellent, thank you. And let me see Kevin Hernandez, 12, about Gloria. Let's see, Kevin. If I don't have Kevin, let me go with Jancy Jimenez, please, number 12. Uh, Gloria is going to phone her friend. Exactly, very good. Si ustedes eh, pueden chequear aquí, no dice call, right? También se puede decir phone, ¿ok? En vez de decir eh, Gloria is going to call her friend, podemos decir Gloria is going to phone her friend. Y significa lo mismo. Let's go with Kenya Menjibar. Kenya, 13, please. Margaret is going to open the present. Excellent. That's correct. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Excellent. Great job. Now, what are we going to do next? We already practice content learned. We already recall what we have to recall. Let me move on to the, let me see. To the platform, all right? Today we're going to start with section four. ¿Logran ver la plataforma? Yes. Excellent, thank you. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. All right, so we have the lesson objective. And let me see. Sonia, can you please read the lesson objective? Uy, ya no tengo a Sonia. No. <laughs> Let me see, then help me, Lisette Montoya, please, with the objective for today's class. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Exactly, that's correct. You know what hate is? Uh, uh, hate uh, uh, exactly, exactly, right? So let's see, vamos a ver el video, luego lo vamos a ir analizando, tenemos el vocabulary, yo lo tengo en la PPT, pero quiero que ustedes chequen la pronunciation, ok? Here we go, let's pay attention. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would 
also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. All right, so there you go, everybody. Let me go back with the PPT. Okay. We have this vocabulary. Listen, the vocabulary might seem uh, easy to understand, right? Or easy to practice. But actually, when you get into the mood, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you trying to get all the pieces uh, together, all right? So let's see. Listen carefully to my pronunciation. Here we go. A stand in line, number one. Number two, do laundry. Do laundry. Number three, travel to work. Travel to work. Number four, go to meetings. Go to meetings. Number five, exercise. Exercise. Number six, work in the yard. Work in the yard. Number seven, clean the house. Clean the house. And number eight, open the mail. Open the mail. So let's check. Let me ask the vocabulary to you guys and you will tell me the vocabulary. Let me start with Mayra Lopez. Mayrita, tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay. Uh, stay, stay on the light. Do lighting. Laundry. Laundry, perdón. Mm -hmm. And three, travel to work. Four, go to, uh, go to meaning. Mm -hmm. To meaning, uh -huh. And five, exercise. Six, work into, work into yard. And seven, clean, clean the house. Clean the house. And eight, mm -hmm. open the mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. All right. Very good. Let's see. Jancy Jimenez, please tell me the top eight things people hate to do. Stay in the line, do laundry, travel to work, go to the meeting. Exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. Excellent, thank you. Fatima Guardado, please tell me the vocabulary. Stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, and open the mail. That's correct, thank you. Let's see, Kenya Menjiva. Okay, so yeah, stand in the line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. That's correct, thank you. Jolie Garcia, your turn. Carla Patricia, your turn. <clears throat> Hello, Carlita. Hi, teacher. Uh, stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, ex exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the, the, the mail. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Elizabeth Campos, your turn. Stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. That's correct. Thank you. Dinora Hernandez, your turn. Um, staying in line, do laundry, 
travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. Excellent, thank you. Let me see Jose Vega and after Jose Vega, Jose Carpe. Okay, uh, stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Jose Carpio. Okay. Stand in line, do laundry, number three, travel to work, uh, go to meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, he opened the mail. The mail. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's see, Sonia del Transito. Tell me the vocabulary. Hello, Sonia. Are you there? No sé, tiene el micrófono encendido, pero no se le escucha, Sonia. Ok. Teacher, es que estoy teniendo problemas con el Inter. Ah, no se preocupe, pero ahora sí se le escucha. No le escucha hasta ahorita lo último que dijo. Bueno, ok. Um, stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard. Clean the house, open the mail. That's correct. Excellent, Sonia. No se preocupe, Sonia, yo comprendo. Por eso es que a todos les doy un, un tiempito porque a veces como que no da la señal. <laughs> All right. No se preocupe. Sí, me está sacando a cada rato. Sí, no, y a veces a mí me da pena porque yo los llamo y en otro ratito les cae el, el, el mensaje, <laughs> right? Y después están ahí practicing, practicando y yo qué pena. All right, so I'm sorry guys, okay? But así nos vamos a complain. All right, everybody, thank you so much for your participation in this top eight things people hate to do, right? Porque es importante este vocabulary. Así a simple vista lo podemos decir, right? Pero que hay cuando ya lo ponemos en una sentence, right? Vamos a ver eso. Guiding examples. Estos guiding examples, déjenme, voy a borrar este. Porque eso no hay. ¿Ok? Tenemos dos. Uno que está en afirmativo. Con esto no quiero decir que sea positivo, right? Sino que está en afirmativo. Y al final hago mi negación o mi expresión de desprecio a la oración, ¿no? Right? For example, I have to stand in line outside the supermarket to buy food. I hate it. Right? Lord. Tengo que hacer la línea afuera del supermarket, del supermercado, para comprar comida. Y lo otro, all right? So, let's go with number two. Esta ya va en negativa. Por ende, ya no puedo poner el hate it atrás, right? So, I don't have to go to meetings because I work online. Ya en esta. Si ustedes se fijan en el video, el teacher les dice de que ustedes van a hacer su example. Ustedes van a hacer su propio ejemplo, all right? pero van a explicar por qué no les gusta. En este caso, yo agregué un solo el because, que es para dar una razón, right? a reason. Entonces, I don't have to go to meetings because I work online. Algo que no, te, no necesitamos hacer. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos un resultado, right? o tenemos una acción anterior a esa. Entonces, esto es lo que ustedes van a practicar. Check these check this examples out, please. right? Chequen estos examples, le damos una revisada y después nos vamos al practice time. Let's see. Practice time. We have three instructions. Let me see. Um, Jancy Jiménez, can you please read the instructions? Work individually. 
based on the giving example provided by the teacher, create four sentences, use the vocabulary to a things people hate to do. That's correct, excellent. Si no nos da el tiempo para hacer las cuatro sentences que ustedes les tienen que hacer, al menos hagamos dos, right? Como mínimo dos, máximo cuatro. Basados en el ejem los ejemplos que yo les di, aquí me falta la S para decir examples, right? In the guiding examples, basado en los guiding examples que ustedes ya tienen, que son estos, van a realizar eh, cuatro oraciones utilizando el vocabulary de top eight things people hate to do, right? Entonces, ya con eso en mente, nos movemos al vocabulary para que ustedes puedan hacer sus sentences, ¿ok? So, let's practice. Si necesitan ayuda, pueden decirme, ¿ok? Y necesito que todos trabajen en esto porque después les va a tocar llenarlo en la plataforma. Entonces, sí, la, la otra diapositiva nos la puede poner un segundito, por favor. La del ejemplo. Ajá, sí. Excelente. Esa, gracias. Gracias, teacher. Excelente. ¿Ya la puedo mover? Ya, teacher. Excelente. Bye. Así ya tiene el vocabulario. Dari. All right, who has finished so far? Uh, two sentences? Yes, two sentences, yeah. okay, yes. Okay, tell me, Lisette, dígame las suyas. Hey, okay, I have to clean the house every day. I hate it. <laughs> very good um, I don't have to open the mail because I'm sick all right excellent there you go easy peasy right is that fast listen uh, so so teacher <laughs> all right see sí, pueden por eso les puse los guiding examples para que se basen all right 
porque de eso en sí no nos han puesto estructura. Entonces, con los guiding examples ya van viendo ustedes dónde pueden colocar cada palabra, right? Excellently said, very good. Somebody else, alguien más que ya finalizó y me quiera dar sus sentences. At least one or two, al menos una o dos, all right? No es obligación que sean. Yo, teacher. Okay, Jancy, tell me. I hate wake up early. <laughs> And I don't hate work in the yard. All right, excellent, very right, good. That's correct, Jancy. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Jose Vega. Dígame su oración, Jose, no hay problema. Okay, dice, I have to do laundry on weekend and I don't like it because it's my break time. That's true, Jose, we totally got you. <laughs> Totalmente <laughs> lo comprendemos. <laughs> All right, that's correct, thank you. ¿Alguien más? Nobody. Aunque sea una. Yeah. Okay, excellent, Carlita. I hate standing land in line when I go to the bank. And I hate travel to work uh, when I I when I when I go when I am sick. All right, excellent. That's true, Carla. <laughs> That's true. I got you. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's check those sentences, Felipe. At least the last one. So let me see Elizabeth Campos. Uh, I have to exercise to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I, I have, have to eat to be healthy. <laughs> To be healthy, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have to stand, stand in line in the bank to be paid bills. To pay the bills. To pay the bills. Ah, the bills. Mm -hmm. And very good, Elizabeth. Excellent. Fatima Guardado, your turn. I don't have to go travel to work because that is a lot of traffic in the bus. And I hate clean the house when have a lot of person in the house. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Cleaning a house full of people, it's difficult. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yo, teacher. Excellent. Gabby, tell me. I hate stay in light in the bank. I hate it. I don't have work in the yard. I love plants. Excellent. Very good. Thanks. Esta amiga de las plantas, Gaby. Sí, yes. Excellent. Very good. Somebody else? Someone else? At least one, al menos una, que quieran decirme para chequear si están bien, si las estamos haciendo bien. Yo, teacher. Okay, Sonia, tell me. Okay. Uh, I have to clean the house. I don't have to exercise because eh, quería poner ahí porque muy cansado, pero no, no, no lo terminé. Ah, bueno, puedes poner because I get tired porque me canso. Okay. Right, excellent, because I get tired. De ahí de lo normal está bien, Sonia. Okay, thank you. Very good, thank you. All right, everybody, somebody else, alguien más? <laughs> Let's see. Ya les va a tocar completar ese exercise en la platform. Si a partir de ahora empiezan a, a llenar la section four, les va a tocar poner. All right. Sí. No one. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Now, let's move on to the next one. No crean que me he olvidado de los que no han pasado, right? Mañana les voy a preguntar. 
So let's see. Para mañana vamos a ver este tema. Simple past statements with regular verbs, all right? Vamos a ir un poquito eh, despacio en estos temas porque es prudente que lo hagamos para poder reconocerlos bien, all right? So this is it for today's class, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye.